So we're in Kleva today. It's a German city uh, just across the border from Nijmegen. And uh, it's known for the Garden of Cleves. Cleves is how you'd say it in English. Mm -hmm. uh, and the Cleve Garden, or the Garden of Cleves, is this really interesting uh, area. It's an area that's kind of on the hillside, and it cuts down into the valley. And what they did is they kind of cut the stretch out of a wooded area, and they turned it into this really nice park. So you got this canal of water, you have the water fountains, fountains. you have a little amphitheater set up, mm -hmm. you have the obelisk up at the mm -hmm. top, and uh, it's a really nice place to visit. There's a little forest area that you can walk through, there's hiking paths. Yeah, well that's to get up to the obelisk, which is a, quite a nice hike. Yeah, and it's a very cool and comfortable mm -hmm. hike, so there's a lot of... And with pretty arbors, um, vines and... and arbored walkways um, that was really very nice comfortable. That, in fact I sat down and I was thinking man I wish I had a daiquiri here <laughs> that would have been a great place just to sit back and relax because it was very cool <laughs> yeah it, it was nice you know and that was worth seeing I think there was a really interesting walking through the garden area well the other thing that they have is they have a small petting zoo you got a variety of goats more goats than you can even imagine even existed there's sheep there's pigs, there's small pigs and big pigs, there's, there's ponies, there's um, small little horses. Oh, did you pet any of them? No, I didn't pet anything, <laughs> but uh, there was also some ducks, there was owls, there was a few eagles, uh, there were some raccoons, porcupines. But you could feed them too. You could feed them. In fact, they actually gave you, um, or you know, you could get food to feed the animals. If you're here with kids, this would be a great time or a great place to come and spend some time here uh, petting the animals and walking the gardens. I'd say all in all that this was a nice little trip, but I certainly wouldn't come out of my way to visit this area. If you live near Nijmegen or you're in Venlo or you're in, in Duisburg or Dusseldorf and you're looking for something different to do, this was a nice trip, but I wouldn't come out of my way to visit this place just to come here. All right, so we're off to our next destination. Okay, let's go. All right. We're still in Germany, and we just got finished touring Schloss Moylen. In English, that's Castle Moyland. And it's it's quite an interesting castle. It's, it's pretty nice. It's a moated castle, so you have one moat around the whole area, and then you pass through that, which would be the stables and the courtyard, and then there's another moat around the castle, and then you can, of course, enter, enter the keep. Now, the castle was built in the 1300s, and over the centuries it's been renovated at least a half a dozen times. And in World War II, it was damaged, and looted. And looted. And of course, it was just left to pretty much rot. All the interior was gutted. Everything was gone. There's nothing in the castle that was original. And it was restored, but it was restored as an art museum. And all the walls are white, with the exception of a few rooms. And all the flooring is white and black marble flooring. And it's done real, real nice. It's a very minimalist look. And it looks like a museum. But all the stuff inside is all artwork. But I will say this, if you're not into art, it's really not worth entering a castle with one exception. And that's the tower, the North Tower, you actually get to go up the tower. And then you get to tour, you know, get to go outside on the base of the spire. Panoramic view out over the countryside. And it's, that's really, really nice. And that was finished in 2008 as a, a separate renovation. And that was done really well. And like I said, the whole thing is done quite well. But I will say this, if you're not into art and you don't want to spend the seven euros and go at the top, I would just spend the two euros a piece and see the grounds because you get to tour the whole grounds. You get to walk around, you get to walk through the moats, you get to actually go to the courtyard or into two separate botanical gardens filled with butterflies and bees. And and sculpture gardens. Sculpture gardens, walking past through the woods. So it's a really good deal for two euros for adults, but check this out. For five euros, a family gets to get in. That's two adults and the children for five euros. That's really a bargain. Now that's just to the grounds. That's just to the grounds. So if you're a family and you're looking for something to do on a nice day, 
for five euros, your entire family can see this castle, not the inside, not the art museum, but all the grounds. I highly recommend spending uh, an afternoon or a morning here and checking out the grounds. Now the artwork inside, it's a good collection. It's a nice collection. Most of the works, I think 6,000 pieces, are by one artist, Josef Beuys. Mm -hmm. And that's in the castle. Now there's an exhibition hall right next to the castle in one of the courtyard buildings. And that includes some works by Albert Kelp, a yeah. Dutch artist, and various other um, artists of that time. And that's a really, really nice exhibition to see. Uh, but you have to be into art. If you're not into art, I just skip the seven euros. If you're into art and you want to go to the towers, I think it's not a bad price for what you see. You, you get to see a lot. But I think for most people, I think the exterior would be a, a good yeah. bargain. And due to licensing agreements and, and waivers needing to be signed, the photos we have are only of the exterior um, and the view from the tower. But all in all, I think this was well worth seeing. And like I said, if you want to see the outside, it's, it's definitely worth coming to. Yes, definitely. So, so that's it for today. Uh, we'll see you later. See you next time. Thanks for watching our video and remember you can always find more information at www.mikestravelguide.com. We're Mike and Gayla taking you across Europe one road trip at a time. Don't forget to subscribe and like us on YouTube.